now someone I do care about. Truly, madly, genetically. Keo Wild for the gorgeous Carly Hello! <laughs> Here's a card which hits just the right note. We're sorry you're in hospital and sick of you each 
shower. We hope they can remove that thing you fell on in the shower. <laughs> How many times have you wanted a card like that? More than I care to admit. Here's a nice... Here's the nice Australian one, and we'd like to thank all of our dear little young this friends at all beautiful. of our primary who've designed these. Here's a nice Australian one. Okay, here we go. I'm uglier than mortal sin. You surely must agree. But here's my father's phone card. Will you please have sex with me? <laughs> what have you been up to, girl? What have I been up to? Well, I have been at Byron Bay, unwinding. Really? Because I thought you had a suntan. No, 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 no. This is just a light streety, oh, not a right. suntan. No, no, no. Okay. You know, Byron. there's too much Byron. There's too much aggro in the world. What do they say down at Byron? They say, just chill. This barrel is still sticking. Oh, yeah, so what was that? <laughs> what? Hey, hey, not a problem. That's what they say, hey, Byron. Not a problem. chill. Not a problem. <laughs> what was the highlight of the trip for you, Doc? Well, we whale watching. Whale watching? Mm. What was that all about? Well, there are these whales and you watch them. Ah. Oh. <laughs> well, they, well, they do tricks. I mean, is it like sea world? No, no, no. They just float around in the water and you watch them mm. for about ten hours. I would have asked my money back if I'd paid. You know what, Bob? Anything goes down there. I swam in the N-U-D. The nut. Oh, the nude. <gasps> the nude? You old you feral. Oh, you know, Arnie Bev, of course, was the first Australian woman to sunbathe topless. We were all shocked, of course, it was the Lions Club barbecue. Oh, I remember that well. Your mum told her, for God's sake, put your top on, Bev. Where are you going to tuck in your serviette? <laughs> oh, Carly, isn't she looking fantastic? Thank you. You look great. What about you? Yeah. Your bosom is huge. Mm, wait a minute, I, don't, I haven't tensed up yet. Do it again. Have you been pumping iron? Well, I've been doing some ironing. Uh, well, anyway, bosom. Male bodybuilders don't call them bosoms, Coralie. We call them pictorial muscles. Oh. <laughs> yep. I'm feeling good, actually. I reckon I could model some underpants. Yeah. <laughs> Cotton tail. Oh, stop it. Now, Coralie, what are you here to tell us about? Well, I'm here to tell you about my terrific new show at Dirty Knickers Theatre Restaurant. <laughs> oh. Well, I should explain, of course. We should explain. Mawula Bar used to be a two theatre restaurant town, Dirty Dicks and French Knickers. They combined last year to become Dirty Knickers. That's right, Bob. And sadly, the current show is finishing. It's got a week to run. It's a sophisticated West End farce. It's a Butte family show, so bring the kids along. What's it called again? Dick's got my pussy. <laughs> or is that the other way round? Hey, listen, hey. It's a little bit blue, but never offensive. So get out of your rocking chair, Grandma, and come on down to duty, Nicholas. <laughs> I tell you, dare I ask about the new show, darling? Yes, well, we thought we'd lighten things up a bit with a zany musical about the life of Mahatma Gandhi. <laughs> oh, Mahatma, don't you cry for me. Hi, what was it? Wait a minute. Wasn't one of the Gandhis at Mervar High? That's right, Amanda Gandhi. Oh, I forgot about that. I forgot about Mandy Gandhi. Oh, <laughs> She was a real goer. We used to call her Randy Mandy Gandy. <laughs> so I could put her in the show, actually. We could close the first half with its Hey, wait a minute, hang on. Are you are you being historically correct with this show? I mean, has there been extensive research? Mm, yeah. Well, you know, for a start, it's been hell finding the right foundation. Oh, yes, yeah, very dark, Mahatma. Very dark. It stains the sheets, doesn't That's it? That's right, exactly. Yes, and there's a couple of things he used to do, well, rather unhygienic. <laughs> oh, you mean? <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Very difficult to stage convincingly and certainly not something you want to see in a theatre restaurant while you're eating. Oh, I just hope you're not taking the piss out of them, that's all. <gasps> no, we're not. We use 100% real apple juice. <laughs> Cloudy or clear? <laughs> Surprise, Carly, you look as beautiful as Cleopatra on her barge. Bob, climb aboard. And, what? <laughs> and you smell, she smells delicious too. What's that perfume? Is that lotus oil? No, it's Charlie. I got it from the chemist. Oh. So, Frank, Charlie's great. You know, it's quite medicinal too. Auntie Bev uses it for her athlete foot. What, what a sophisticated lady. Like some other people we know. Yes, Bob, our very good friends at the Lucky Moon Casino are pretty darn sophisticated when it comes to taking your money. <laughs> Carly, we've all, we, of course, we've all heard of Jupiter's Casino. I mean, Nana now practically lives in that place. She's got her own pillow. And now, of course, I'm performing there in my...
my ever tribute show, Bang a Boomerang. Ah, oh, that's the only ABBA song that hasn't appeared in an Australian film, isn't it? Right. You know, there just aren't enough ABBA tribute shows. Are but there. Bob, back to the Lucky Moon Casino. Did we do our Ricky Martin tribute there? No, 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 Coralie. The Lucky Moon is a virtual casino. It won't be. Tatiana's pole. Or, or even Victor's. 